Salut YouTube! As you can hear by my horrible accent, I'm French and today is the first day that I'm wearing makeup in a week in more than a week actually, in 8 days because you know, quarantine Actually, it's the second time because as you can see by the title uh, this is my beauty inventory, like makeup inventory but more categories and um, I took my pictures today <laughs> and I missed 28 items so and I still managed to miss items while taking my picture anyway we'll see hopefully my numbers are right this time if you see me like looking down I I have some notes because last time I filmed this I forgot a lot of things so now I have notes um, some things are not in my inventory. Hair products, makeup removers, eye creams because I don't have one. Um, I don't have body products like wax, body wash, just, just body moisturizers. I just have five and I wrote five. <laughs> um... I don't count brushes and I don't count blotting paper. Also, I've taken um, a photo of most of it, but I was too lazy for some categories like eyeshadows. Too much. <laughs> but before we jump into it, I wanted to say that for people who are not like involved by a, a quarantine, like me, like millions of people at <laughs> this point, do not feel guilty about uploading a video about makeup or anything else we are in quarantine. Some of us cannot work. We cannot do like work at distance. So we don't have anything to do. I have some things to do, but you know. So uh, I watch a lot of YouTube. So do not feel guilty. I mean we use youtube as something to distract ourselves if we want to be brainwashed but what's going on in the world we just have to turn on tv and like watch the news for 10 minutes so do not forget to please upload it's quite distracting it feels good so please help us feel good <laughs> that's why i'm uploading this i haven't been out for your Monday for a days. I'm feeling quite good because I like staying home. Some people are getting crazy, like some of my friends are like <laughs> getting crazy inside. That being said, let's jump into my beauty inventory. You're going to see me look on the I think it's on the left for you. Oh by the way, don't look too much at my hair, it's my like sleeping hairdo. I didn't have any energy to do anything with my hair. Yesterday, when I filmed it for the first time, I did like a twist out, but right now, no. So this is staying like this, hope you don't mind. So let's jump into it, I'm gonna, <sighs> yeah, scoot a little bit on the side. So first category is face cream, I have thin face cream, it's a lot. But six of them are the same as you can see on the picture. It's my favorite cream and it's it has been discontinued. So I bought a lot. Next is serum and toner. I have five. I already finished two of them. In the two of them are new, like the Kiko Sishin and Not Energizing Toner and the Pulpe de Vie. Perfecting, uh, blah blah blah, don't know the name. So next is scrubs, I mixed uh, face scrubs and body scrubs. I have two body scrubs, it's the same one, it's from Kiko, from a collection. Uh, the collection Ocean Feel, I love the scrub, it's, it's, it's amazing but it's limited edition so I don't know what to do. I have only one face scrub, it's the Kiko Pure Clean Scrub, I don't really like it. 
my favorite scrub is another one from Kiko. It's the Pure Clean Powder. It's like a dry powder. I like dense scrubs. I know I should use like chemical exfoliators. I prefer like physical exfoliators. Next category is masks. Two of them are clay masks and one of them is a peel of max it's, it's a really like a famous one it's like a really hardcore peel off i only use it like on my chin and on my nose so it's not really like too painful my goal is to not have any masks um because i never use them next is face wash on the picture you can see three but actually, I have um, four. Um, I have three of the same one, like the purple one, the Pure Clean Cream, also from Kiko. But the third one is in my shower and it it had like water everywhere. So the last face wash is a um, bar of soap, also from Kiko. You'll see I have a lot of Kiko. Um, it's really good. It's not stripping my face, but I think I prefer it to wash my brushes. So I think that's how I'm going to use it. But for now, it's in my face washes. Last category is not really skincare. It's perfume. I have 18 perfumes and 13 of them are samples. I think I forgot a sample on my picture because... I found it like on another section in my um, my beauty stash. So yes, no. So it's this is bad. So I have now like nineteen sam uh, fourteen samples, and so uh, nineteen perfumes. For me, a sample is a product because I have to like make an effort to use it so for me it's a product i never use perfume so same i want this category to disappear maybe have one but yeah if i have one it won't be in my makeup inventory because i mean one it's useless <laughs> yeah so that's it for skincare and perfume okay so now for makeup for each category Apart from eyeshadow palette, a pan is like one product because, I mean, on a duo you have to use one shade and the other shade up. So for me it's two products. So let's start with a uh, face primer. I have three. I have two mattifying one and one smoothing one. My goal is to have one mattifying and one um, smoothing primer. I have really oily skin, so I need a mattifying primer. If not, my skin is mm, disgusting. Next, for foundations. I have a lot more foundation than I have primer. Primer? Primer? <laughs> I have 50 foundation. On screen, you can see. Where are you? Yeah, on screen you can see 49 I think because I forgot this. This is a sample, it's from Inglot from their HD foundation. Uh, I just I just forgot about it. I also put my mixers in it because I use them not as foundation but I mix them with my foundation so for me it's it's sim simple. By the way 50 foundations people are using a foundation in two months how it's taking me six months to use a foundation and i not really like oh a drop of foundation for my face no i'm like not really full coverage but full pump for my face so how people how next is concealer on the top line, you can see my concealers that are open. On the bottom line, it's my concealers that are brand new. I think most of my brand new concealers I got from last Black Friday. 
I have a lot to use before I open another concealer. My, my goal is not to have one concealer open at a time. It doesn't interest me, but I just want to have like three or four concealers open at a time. The rest of them can stay in my backup stash and stay closed. Next category is powders. For these powders, I mixed uh, loose powders and pressed powders. It can be for my under eye or for my face. I have 16 powders. On the picture, I don't know if you can see, in the middle, you have like one, two, three, four, four powders like on top of one another. You have two boxes and two compacts. It's the same powder. Next category is contour and bronzer. I have 13 mm, powders. My contour slash bronzers are mostly darker bronze, uh, darker powders than me. Because I you know I'm a dark skin girl and it's quite hard to find a bronzer. The only real bronzer that, that, that I have is the Anastasia one. Next category is blush. I have 34 blush. I don't know how. I don't know why. Because most of the time I don't use them. When you see me on camera, most of the time I have blush on because I'm doing my makeup at home. But when I do my makeup at work, I don't use blush just because I don't have time and I don't want to have like a giant makeup bag. Here you can see I have three, is it only three? I have four blush palettes. So for each palette I count a pan as a product. It doesn't mean that I will depart them at all. It just means that I, for me, a pan is a product. I mean, as you can see, when you see my Inglot uh, blushes, they are almost the same size as one pan in, in the slick palette. So yeah, it's as much effort. And I still don't wear blush on the daily. So yeah, I don't know why I have so much blush. Next category is highlight. I have a lot of highlights. Not a lot compared to everyone. Well, compared to some people, I have I still have a lot. I have 28 highlighters. For someone who never wear highlighter. I wear highlighter even less than blush. Maybe like three times a year. I maybe five times a year. I just don't like it. I don't know guys. Because at least my blush will get used. These are not going to get used. Now we're going to start with the eye products. First we have eye bases. Well, kind of eye bases. I mixed eye bases, glitter bases and uh, I forgot the um, Inglot Zero Line on the picture. Next is a category and the next category too I think I didn't take a picture um it's my eyeshadows I really like eyeshadows even if you can't see it today <clears throat> because it's 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 already late I didn't have time to do a full face of makeup compared to yesterday yeah where I took my time to do my makeup today it was not really fast because I took like 45 minutes to an hour but it, yesterday I took two hours but whatever so uh, for eyeshadows I have uh, split them in two loose eyeshadows and um, pressed eyeshadows I have another category for cream eyeshadows and by the way my 
um, Colourpop Super Shock Shadows for me are pressed. They're not cream. Even if they are creamier, but for me they are pressed. So I have 53 loose eyeshadows. It can be a lot for some people. I really like loose eyeshadow. I, for, by loose eyeshadow, I don't mean um, pigment. They are mixed in the loose eyeshadow category, but I have like really like loose eyeshadows and uh, pigments. It's the same category. I also have in my loose pigment, uh, in my loose eyeshadow, broken eyeshadows because I'm not throwing them out. I'm just putting them in a little like container and using them like this. I could repair them. I haven't thought about that. Compared to that, I have 127 pressed eyeshadows. 56 of them are in magnetic palettes, but I really, really like singles. It's what I use most of the time to do my makeup. Compared to my number of palettes, I prefer singles to palettes because in palettes, I... How can I say that? It's just that in a palette, I use like maybe like two shade, three shade maybe. Then I have to grab another single to finish my look. So for me, palettes are useless pretty much. I still like my palettes. I'm not decluttering them. I'm not trashing them. Trashing them, sorry. But I just... I don't use them. So right now, I'm no buy for palettes. By the way, for primers, I can't use concealer as a primer. So I, I'll always have one primer. I think I'm gonna have one glitter glue because I have glitter so I have to have glitter glue and well I have two mixing medium if you count uh, the draw line as a mixing medium so just one mixing medium it's enough I should try the mixing medium with glitter maybe does it work tell me does it work finally I've talked about it but the next category is palettes. I have 34 palettes. Do I? No. Because I forgot. Oh, what am I doing? So, I didn't count these palettes when I did my inventory. I'm doing a poor job about this. And I thought I finished it on the 15th of February. And today is the 23rd of March and I'm still like finding uh, peop uh, people uh, makeup. I have three of the uh, Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and I have one uh, palette from Krikos the Jelly Jingle collection and one palette from the Green Me collection. So, um, that makes me 539 palettes. It's a lot for someone who doesn't use palettes. I'm not planning to declutter any. I think I sent one for a cousin of mine. Maybe two, I think. But that's it. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, 39 palettes. Next is a smaller category. And you have a picture. It's mascaras. As you can see, we have a lot of the same mascara. On the line of mascara, there three, four, yes, the four like first mascaras are opened. I, in my head, it's like I have only one mascara open at a time. It's just that I have one at home open, one in my makeup bag, like when I'm on my motorcycle, and one in my makeup bag when I'm using my car and I'm going to work. And the fourth one is just that I lost it in my car. So 
I had to open another mascara and two months later my mom found it so yeah I have four mascara opened I use them at the same time kind of so all the same ones the gray with the W is also the same one um, it's just from another brand well let me show you the wand it's like this it's like a really 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 small wand it's the only mascara that works on me I just have one mini uh, mascara for me my goal is to use up first the ones that are opened and next the mini well no first the ones that are opened then the limited edition one because it's like one year one year and a half old and it can dry up on me while it's still like brand new and closed and then the mini then the other one yeah that's my plan in the future my goal is to have between like two and four mascara and think it's just because I have the one that I have opened I want to have at least a backup for brows it's a category where I forgot a lot of product I I don't know how I thought I only had like five products maybe at most I have I have I have I have 14 and on screen you can only see 12 but I forgot about two of them these they are like brow mic markers again from Kiko but I mean 14 products and most of them are like they have a long life so I, I have five pomade and I have two powders I mean just how am I gonna use them up it's taking like a year a year and a half to use a pomade and I have four five of them oh yeah and someone can tell me how I ended up with four brow mascaras I don't use them I don't like them I feel like they are not doing anything but it's just because I have really like simple eyebrows I mean I just do that and they are like in place and they are not moving or if they are moving I just do this again and they are in place so next is eye pencil I have 14 of them it's a lot at the same time it's not a lot because I only have two black eye pencil the rest of them are colored one. Oh, you can see in the in the picture that <laughs> one like um what you call it the color part that you draw with it's getting out of the crayon Body. yeah that's my problem actually my colored and black but my colored pencil my pencil in general they are drying up on me because I don't use them I just I bought them because when I swatch them they're really like beautiful and stuff and they stay on my desk and don't get used 14 14 Maman, tu regardes une vidéo? Ok, ça m'a fait sursauter. Next is liquid eyeliner. I've mixed glitter eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, black or colored, and pot eyeliners, and like pen marker style eyeliners from either liquid eyeliner, same thing. Um, 
I don't know if you can see on my eyes, but today I used the glitter eyeliner. I don't use them like on top of a regular eyeshadow to add glitter. I just use them as a double eyeliner. So that's why for me it's a liquid eyeliner. I have 11. I really, I need one black eyeliner. My glitter eyeliner. I had a lot more, but they dried out on me from NYX. I bought another one from Kiko. I have two markers, four liquids, two pots, and three, three other liquids. 11. It's not bad. Is it? I feel like it's not bad. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Next. Next is cream shadows. So, as you can see, we have like pencil, most of them, pencil, um, cream shadows and pot eyeshadows. I use them as a base and on top of that I'm using my eyeshadows. Anyway, all of this to say that I forgot three products. I forgot this, which is for me two products. It's the Sicilian Nut from Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Duo in number five. Yes, khaki and like greenish on the other side. It's a really long lasting. I forgot the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in Ruby. And I forgot the uh, Into the Dark Metallic Eyeshadow from Kiko in number four. It's a green color. Final category for the eyes is glitters. 15 glitters, uh, mostly from PB Cosmetics and and yeah not much to say about it last part on my makeup it's lip products for my lip balm and lip scrubs i have six products i have four lip balm um the lip balm in the middle the kiko one i have four of them i i couldn't be bothered to like grab the three of the ones that are closed and in my backup stash so you're only seeing one but i have four of them i have my forever aloe lip balm and i have the be find food skincare it's a lip scrub next is my um lip pencil i have 20 lip pencil i really need like two lip liner one red one brown so I don't know what I'm doing with 20 of them next category is liquid lipstick for me liquid lipsticks are not just like matte liquid lips li are not just matte liquid lipsticks a liquid lipstick is a liquefied lipstick so my lip lockers for me are liquid lipsticks I have 45 of them I think I like most of them i think some of them are still brand new that's a problem next is like bullet lipsticks i have more bullet lipsticks and i didn't know that i am but i have a lot more i have 82 lipsticks i think i have a lot of lipsticks because when i'm discovering a brand i like to buy lipsticks to try so i have a lot of product and i lip products like um lipsticks and i always buy a red i never buy a nude i have some nudes but i always buy a red to test a, a brand so i have a lot of, of red and burgundies next category from lips is lip glosses i have 28 lipsticks this one was on my screen but i i forgotten to count it this one was like totally forgotten because it was like not with my other lip glosses so you have i think 27 um lip glosses but i forgot to put this one on screen um because it was in my makeup bag but this one was in my original inventory it's just i forgot to put it on screen so yeah anyway 20 
27. Oh, I don't remember. 28. Lipsticks. Uh, lip glosses. What am I saying? And lastly is nail polish. <sighs> I have a lot. Well, I only have like four bases. Oh, I forgot about my Mavala one. I guess it's five. Where is it? I can't. I hope I, I haven't finished it without utilizing it. Nail polish. I have 129 nail polishes. I have 75 Kiko nail polishes. So the bulk of my nail polish collection is Kiko. And lastly, I have my top coats. I have 12 top coats. Really, I have 11 and a nail oil. But, well, in these 11 top coats, I have 4 glitter top coats. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I have 48 skincare product and perfume. It's uh, it's the same category for me. I have 163 complexion products. I have 317 eye products. I have 181 lip products. And I thought I had more lip product than eye product. I don't know how. Uh, which in total for makeup is six, uh, 1600. No, no. <laughs> it's 661 products. For the nails, I have 145 products. Which is in total 854 products. 854 products to go through. It's going to take me years. Some of them are going to go bad, I'm sure. I had a body cream from Vaseline that I got four years ago. Totally turned bad. Totally, totally turned bad. Anyway, I'm done with my inventory. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite fascinating to do my inventory. It was my first time. It was really, really long to do this inventory but I think it opened my eyes on which product I don't need more of. I don't need more lip products. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Have a great day. Stay safe because we have to say it. Stay safe. Stay home. Please stay home. Don't be stupid. Stay home. Wash your damn hands and yeah. Have a good day, have a good night, if you're like me and watching YouTube until you fall asleep and see you next time. Bye bye.